Earlier in the series, we looked at the value of mulch and the practical and decorative role that it plays. But in this piece, we go one step further and put mulch under the spotlight. Tests have shown the mulch can help to reduce evaporation of water from the soil surface by up to 70%. But how does an inorganic mulch stand up against an organic one? Well, let's do a simple little experiment and find out. I've chosen plants that are quick to show signs of water stress. Meet our test subjects, water thirsty hydrangeas and hebes. We're using pots of the same size in a controlled water free environment. So the only variable is the type of mulch. We're showcasing four different mulches, organic pea straw, a pine bark based garden mulch and inorganic pebbles, big and small. And just to be fair, I've given them all a little drink. Equal amounts, of course. OK, so let's see just how well our plants have stood up after seven days without a single drop of water. Our plants are still looking OK. Apart from the odd brown spot on some of our hydrangeas, there's little difference between them. OK, so there were no major casualties after a week, but let's see how they hold up after 14 days. 14 days of thirst and our plants are really starting to show signs of dehydration. Let's look first at the hydrangeas. Drooping leaves, dry and withered flowers, well, no surprises here. But what is surprising is that the plants that are topped with inorganic pebbles seem to be doing slightly better. Now to the hebes, which overall are looking much better than the hydrangeas. And to be honest, from a mulch perspective, there's not a lot of difference between them. Our subjects have had three weeks now without a single drop of rain or a watering can in sight, so we're really starting to test our mulch now. Well, the results are in, and I'm struggling to see any difference between the hebes, but the hydrangea offers a bit more insight. Our pea straw subject has held up surprisingly well, given this is a plant that doesn't like the dry. Our larger pebbles and garden mulch subjects are still clinging to life. But unfortunately, the plant with the small pebbles is in need of a horticultural paramedic. You can tell just by looking at them if a plant needs water. But if you want to be more scientific about it, try using a soil moisture meter. In the early part of our experiment, it looked like the pebbles might actually come up trumps. But as those weeks progressed, it was the organic mulches that really started to come through with the goods. Now organic mulches have the obvious advantage of building and nourishing the soils as they break down. But with very little difference really between all of these materials, a good mulch is essential for great drought protection. It may simply come down to the look that people want to achieve for their garden. 